Lord, we praise you. We praise and we bless you, Lord. Good evening and welcome to our bit, to our evening prayers this Thursday evening and it's bitterly cold, bitter, but it's good to be with you and come into the warmth having been in the garden with the hens and I didn't realise how cold it was, it's absolutely boom and they do say more snow is coming. It's good to welcome our dear sister Sue, best get your frock on, yes indeed. And it's good to welcome our dear sister Mary and dear, dear Helen, Helen Francis and brother Cadge and dear brother Ron. Good to welcome you around this wonderful burning fire of love. And Polly and brother Francis. Oh, it's like home from home. So we begin, forgive me, I've got wind. I've been rushing trying to feed the hens and the doves. We light this light on day three of our novena of prayers for the Frank Clara Abbeys, God's vision, not my vision, God's vision, to reach out to all God's children of all faiths and none, and to bring the compassion, the love and the joy to those who may be wounded or hurting or maybe feeling estranged from this loving God. So we light this light, a symbol of our love, where we represent a loving community that's non-dogmatic and a community that's not filled with fear or guilt, but a loving acceptance to embrace all that we are as an amazing, wondrous child of God. Amen. And good evening to dear Rita and Marvain. Lovely to have you with us. So let us ring our bells. <clears throat> and let us just be still for a moment. Come back to our heart. And let us be still in the silence and in the presence of whoever your God is. And feel the love. That selfless, reverent, healing touch of God. Come upon you. Amen. Our evening prayer is the traditional divine office of Vespers for Lent. And I pray that you will join me. It is the traditional prayer of us Christian, Catholic Christian nuns and monks and whoever around the world. And we'll try and pray it with love. O oh God, come to my aid. O oh Lord, make haste and help us. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our hymn this evening is a sixth century hymn, going back to 1888, by T.R.A. Knox. Jesus, the Son of Ransomed Earth, shed in our inmost souls thy light, as in spring days of fairer birth, heralds each morn the doom of night. This hour of grace thou dost impart, teach us with flowing tears the stain, to cleanse from every victim heart that longs to feel love's welcome pain. The day is come, the accepted day, when grace like nature flowers anew, trained by thy hand, the surer way, rejoice we in our springtime too. Let the whole earth in worship bow 
great God, before thy mercy seat, as we renewed by grace do now, with praises new, thy presence greet. Isn't that a beautiful hymn? And now, where are we? Our first antiphon, the Lord is my love and my refuge. In him I place my trust. And now we read Psalm 143 in two parts. So part one, the, for victory and peace. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my saviour, my shield, my place my re of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, read them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out of the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord is my refuge and my, sorry, the Lord is my love and my refuge. In him I place my trust. The second antiphon, blessed the people whose God is the Lord. And now part two of Psalm 143. To you, O God, I will sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes, whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from your youth. Excuse me, our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind, our sheep increasing by the thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people, excuse me, with such blessings. Happy the people whose God is the Lord. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Bless the people whose God is the Lord. And the third antiphon, victory and empire have now been won by our God. And our next reading is the canticle reading from the book of Revelation. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you've taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ has come, for the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, 
who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they love not their lives even unto death. Excuse me, rejoice then, O heavens, and you that dwell therein. We pray the Gloria, glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Victory and empire have now been won by our God. And we have a special reading for this first Thursday in Lent. And it's from John 4, verse 7, 8 and 10. Be God's true subject, stand firm against the devil, and he will run away from you. Come close to God, and he will come close to you. You that are sinners must wash your hands clean. You that are in two minds must purify the intentions of your hearts. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short responsory, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. I said, Lord, have mercy on me and the Magnificent Antiphon. If a man will lose himself for my sake, says the Lord, he will find true self in life eternal. I'll read that again. If a man or woman will lose themselves for my sake, says the Lord, they will find their true self in life eternal. Wow. And now, <clears throat> excuse me, we come to the beautiful canticle of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, who is my saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength, and he scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly, and he fills the starving with good things, and he sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant, that's you and me, and those who've surrendered their hearts to God, as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the antiphon. <clears throat> if a man or woman will lose themselves for my sake, says the Lord, they will find their true self in life eternal. Thank you, Lord. And now we come to our evening intercessions as given in the divine office of Vespers. God enlightens us with the grace of the Holy Spirit, that our lives may be filled with justice and faith, let us proclaim his mercy in our evening prayer. Response, Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. We repeat, Lord, 
give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Lord, unite bishops, priests and deacons and all ministers of all religions, excuse me, more closely with Christ through the mystery of the Eucharist. Renew in them each day the grace of ordination response. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Nourish the faithful with the food of Christ's word. Feed them with the bread, which is his body. Response, Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Grant that we may respect the dignity of every man or woman and woman redeemed by the precious blood of your Son. Let us never violate their rights or their conscience. Response, Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Save all men and women from the blind pursuit of wealth. Make them sensitive to the needs of others. Response, Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Be merciful to those who've left our world today. Give them everlasting happiness. Response, Lord, give life to the people you've redeemed, so redeemed by Christ. And now let us bring our own personal intentions before the Lord because he's here and let us just allow him take away the burdens the doubts the fears the worries or anxieties that may plague us and let us just name them bless them and give them lock stock and barrel and leave them with him in a mindset of gratitude and trust. That's the key to trust in the power of prayer and just wait on God to grant your request when the time is right for you to receive that promise. And remember, no prayer ever goes unanswered by God. God hears all our prayers because God can see into our hearts and God knows us by name. That's amazing. So let us now be still and come as we are. We may be discouraged or disheartened. We may be battling with illness or the fear of. We may be mourning the loss of a loved one or one of our pets. We may be feeling sad, discouraged or disheartened. Let's hand them over. Let's be still now and come into the presence of love. I'm guided to play that you've heard before, my forever friend. I just got a strong premonition in my heart to play this for all of us here and remind ourselves why we celebrate Lent. Not giving up the goodies, the chockey and the soda, and the visits to the ice cream parlor, but going out of your way to do a good deed is by far better. My forever friend. And I know Sister Sue loves this. And this is for her friend Kathy, who's traveling. Everybody needs a little help sometimes. No one stands alone. Makes no difference if you're just a child like me. Are a king upon a throne. For there are no exceptions. We all stand in the line. Everybody 
empty needs to fan. Let me tell you of mine. He's my forever friend. My leave me never fan. From darkest night. He's my forever friend. Even when I turn away, he cares for me. His love, no one can shake. Even as I walk away. By my side, with every breath I take, and sometimes I forget him. My halo fails to shine. Sometimes I'm not his friend. But he is always mine He's my forever friend My lady never friend From darkest night To rainbow's end He's my forever friend If you still don't know the one I'm talking of I think it's time you knew Long ago and far away upon So if you like to me, tell, but don't know what to do, ask my friend into your heart, he'll be your friend too. He's my forever friend My leave me never friend From darkest night To rainbow's end He's my forever friend Jesus is my best friend. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. He is our best friend, but sometimes we choose not to listen to our best friend and sometimes we allow our ego our head to get inflated or we may through fear feel we're not worthy of our best friend but we are because he gave his life for everybody not just for Catholics or Christians but for every religion known to God he died for us all so let's celebrate instead of crucifying him over and over by wallowing in self. Let us come back into our hearts because it's in the heart that we hear him speak. Or do you hear him speak? He speaks to me, but sometimes he makes me wait and I fall asleep 
and I bang my head on something, but he does speak. And he doesn't speak of judgment or fear or guilt. He speaks of love. And he always says, come to me, all you who are labored and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Hear those words and treasure them. So we bring all of you here and all the requests. And I pray especially for two requests this evening. I pray for dear brother Ken, who fell in the snow nearby and he stitched up to glory having so much surgery for cancer and a lovely man. So we pray for him because he's hurt his eyes. And we pray for a friend of his, Sister Joyce in Zimbabwe, who takes her final vows soon. And he wanted us to remember her and her gift to the Lord. But I want to remember all my brothers and sisters, past and present in our community and bring each and every one of them to the Lord God who call them by name. And we ask the Lord God to bless their gift of their heart to God. We pray still for Sister Sue's friend, Kath, who's terminal as is will her friend. And Sister Linda is asking for prayers too. She received a message to say that someone was undergoing a liver transplant. I wonder if it was Polly praying for David, her son-in-law, and her sister Liz, because he's waiting for a, a decision this week for a liver transplant. But we pray also for dear Rita and Magdalena and their needs, and for Magdalena's son, especially her son, excuse me, who's having problems with his eyes, that's Peter. We pray this evening for all of you here on Facebook, bless you all. We pray for our dear sister Mary in Michigan and Mike, her husband. For dear Helen Francis, who wants to join the community from our little monastery without walls. And you're welcome, Helen. For dear brother Kaj and of course, sister Paula. And of course, Marcus and Lucas and their friend Christian who's still mourning the loss of his beautiful wife. We pray for Helen Francis, for Laurie who's joined us, Sister Laurie. We remember dear brother Ron and his family. We remember dear brother Francis, welcome dear friend. Oh, and Paul is here. Wow, that's a love for Rona and for dear sister Sandra. Oh, what a joy you've brought to my heart. For dear Matthew, Matthew Montgomery. For Eleanor Lindelof, that's a lovely name. And Laurie, you're sending me lots of lovely hearts. I didn't get any yesterday, but the dogs did. They got a Valentine's card and I didn't, not to worry. For dear Bishop John, for Adam C. McHenry III. Wow. And what's Helen saying? God of mercy and compassion, I give you my pride, blessed. Oh, but should we all have that? For Andrea, you may welcome dear Andrea. A joy to have you with us. And for Sister Mary, I was out today. You're not on the phone speaking into existence, the imagination of Montana. Planting seeds in people's minds of what the sanctuary of hope could be. Sister Maria, spray on Father John Ladd is praying the rosary maker is playing amen we are made in the image of father mother god from there to imagination and they spoke to us into existence isn't that beautiful please give them our love and who else 
I just thank you from my heart for your presence here. It means so much from this little monastery without walls to know that God's prayer partners for peace are here in the presence of all that is. But Satan will kick our butt because he doesn't want us to be united. He wants to divide the children of God, but his power is limited. And that's the message from Medjugorje. Satan's days are numbered, but he's raising a lot of dust in monasteries, in convents, and even in our community. He's not going to win because our love for the Creator is much stronger than his. So we kick his ass, forgive me, and we send him the love and light of God. Let us pray now for all God's children, whoever they are, wherever they are, whatever their belief is irrelevant, but we know many are hurting, especially the families of the 17 killed in North Miami yesterday by a 19 year old boy who has some mental health issues. And we pray for him and his family. And we pray for the gun lobby to take responsibility and get rid of them. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, Mother, God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to us at this hour our daily bread. Forgive us our selfishness, stubbornness, pride, arrogance. Forgive us the times when we've blocked receiving your love. Forgive us for the times we fail to forgive and for the times we've sat in judgment on your children who do not share our belief or our lifestyle choice. Lead us not astray, O Lord, but protect us from the antics of the Antichrist who is alive and well and kicking but in your name, we sent him flying. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. So be it. We've two prayers, forgive me, I'm losing my voice again. <clears throat> We've two prayers, one for Thursday of, of Lent, and bear with me. Lord, be the beginning and end of all that we do and say. Prompt our actions with your grace and complete them with your all-powerful help. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus, the cosmic Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And our final prayer is the beautiful novena of prayers given to Sister Mary, who's here with us from the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And the 40 days prayer is for the Franklara Abbeys, wherever the Lord God wants to put them, we're open. I, Sister Mary, in Christ Jesus, believe so lack of finances for the Franciscan Sanctuary of Hope. Be you removed in the name of Jesus. Alleluia. Mm -hmm. Father, Mother, God, we come to you in praise and thanksgiving for the dream you gave to our founder, your dream of, of Franciscan Sanctuaries of Hope. We pray they will be a sanctuary of hope with a warm heart, an open mind to call all people out of darkness and lead them to the divine spirit, a sanctuary of hope that heals hurt lives and helps all people, a sanctuary of hope that leads us all in the way of peace of St. Francis and Claire of Assisi to serve Father Mother God, the poor and the marginalized, 
a sanctuary of hope that knows no division of culture, class or race, a sanctuary of hope that embraces the vision of Jesus and St. Francis to embrace all beliefs and none, a sanctuary of hope that welcomes brothers and sisters of different faith communities dedicating their lives and hearts as lay monastics embracing Celtic Franciscan spirituality. A sanctuary of hope of the masters for the people, high as the ideals of Jesus and low as the humblest human. A loving sanctuary of hope and friendship to our beloved animal kingdom. A sanctuary of hope that inspires courage for this life and hope for the life to come. We pray, we put this in the hands of our Father, Mother God, in the hope St. Francis and St. Clair, when summer returns and the roses are again in bloom and God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, in all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for, for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. Again 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 10. Let us end with a Celtic blessing. My gift to you because I love you. The blessing of heaven. The blessing of earth. The blessing of sea and sky on those we love this night and on every human family. The gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky and the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and the gifts of the animal kingdom be in your heart now and forever. Amen. As I blow out this symbol flame that to me symbolizes a loving God that is not of dogma or fear or guilt or ridicule but a God who loves you, I thank our Father, Mother God for blessing you where you are right now in your journey to blessedness. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve this amazing God who truly loves you as you are, not the person you would like to be, but the person that God has called you to be, a child of love. Till we meet again around this table of love, blessings from a bitterly cold Cumbria. Amen. Amen. <laughs>